Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Lost Valley and the Empire that struck out. I mean, strikes back. You know, you know what I meant. Yeah. Uh, look, hey, we spent all our money, but we have one thousand dollars left. We also have a pallet of fertilizer and a series two. No, series. Yeah, series three white. That's what we have. 170 horsepower. So we're leasing this thing. We're going to see how it does. Oh my goodness. I thought that pallet would... Man, we have quite a capacity on this thing, don't we? I don't think I can buy a thousand dollars worth of fertilizer without buying it in the bag. Or I would. Well, let's take the old field balls out and see what we can do. So, what we did, uh, we spent all our money and we got a contract to fertilize field 21. Is that loud? Is that too loud for you guys? Man, that seems loud. It's loud for me. Uh, field 21. I think it was uh, this one. Going over the hill. Yeah. All right, so I do have access. This is a big field, big money, $38,000. Now, I don't think we can get all of it done with this amount of fertilizer, so we may have to just go buy $1,000 worth of bags and pray that gets us there. Um, if not, we may just have to take a break. We'll go get some of the potato pallets, take them, wash them, sort them, and sell them. So. We, I mean, we can have money. It's not like, you know, we're, we're not going to have to sell any equipment or anything to finish this contract. But if we could do it with what we have, it would be really nice. We'll just take that thirty-eight grand and roll along. So that's the plan. That's where we're at. Man, this field. No wonder it's $38,000, huh? It's just everywhere you look is this field. I wonder how many acres it was. Uh, 42 acres. Oh, yeah. That's what you get for being greedy. That's a lesson in greed right there. 42 acres. All right, well. Hey, we know what we're going to be doing for a while, right? Takes the, uh, takes the decision-making out of it, so that's kind of nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm going to get lost in this field. <laughs> You forget which hill you went over. My word. Is there anything that's not this field? I guess across the road there is. Would be a different field. Look at that. That's impressive. Alright, 42 acres. Here we go. Making some money. Now, like I say, this is it. I think this is our run to the pigs. We're going to be... I hope to have pigs by tomorrow. Is that a bold claim? It is uh, not quite 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Depending on, this should be the biggest one, by the way. Uh, depending on how long this takes, we'll know how many we can get through. But uh, the pig lot is $138,000. I think I can do it. I think I can do $140,000. Uh, yeah. Maybe not by tomorrow, but we can do it. Like, with the amount of fertilizing contracts there are... We're going to make a lot of money. A whole lot of money. So, uh, I don't think this will take us that long. I really don't. Uh, we are covering good ground at like 24 meters. I think this is. Like we are. We are throwing it out there pretty wide. So as long as we don't run out of product. That will be our biggest. Biggest dilemma on this field. I think we found an edge here. Man. Look, that's over there at our house. That's <laughs> we've circled back. Jeez, did we go around the house? Oh, my goodness. We went around, around the globe. We didn't come back the other side of the house. Uh, that's funny. All right. Well, let's see. We're going straight here. Let's take a look real quick. All the other contracts. 10,000, 14, 28, 15, 7, 8, 9, 17. I mean, just... All those fertilizing contracts. Beautiful. Oh, there's a $34,000 one. Oh, there we go. Off and running. 
So yeah, one more for $34,000. Be almost as big as this one. And that will be $70,000 between the two contracts. That's not bad. <laughs> That's half of the way, halfway to the pig farm right there, just between two fields. So yeah, this is very, very doable all of a sudden. And things are looking good. Looking real good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive around, spread this fertilizer. I'll be right back. All right, there goes uh, thirty. Oh, I said thirty-eight thousand dollars. I was incorrect. That kind of hurts my feelings. Nah, that's all right. We'll collect thirty-one thousand dollars right there. That one's twenty-eight. I saw a thirty-four, didn't I? I? Said thirty-four. Of course, I said thirty-eight too. So man, you can't listen to a word I say. Uh, field twenty-four. Except, yes, we will. Now let's go back to the store. Buy some more fertilizer. We got where 24 is. 24 would be off to our right over the hill over there. Looks like it's a big one too. <laughs> it would be, wouldn't it? It would be bigger than this one. Oh boy. Alright, well. That's alright. It won't be exciting, but. It'll be something. It'll be, uh, what I say? Close to $70,000. For two fields. Yeah, sorry about uh well, this is the hemp that we planted. Yeah, I think we have a we have a license to drive on this one now. We planted the stuff, we can do what we want. We'll be alright. Alright, let's go see Mr. Chris over here at the store, get us another pallet of fertilizer, and head back off over the horizon there. Heading for field number twenty four and a payday of thirty four thousand dollars. Well, Minus, minus a pallet or two or of fertilizer, so. Either way. Let's see, let's go ahead and get somewhere. I know we have some. There it is. Bulk. Yeah, we like bulk. $4,000. Let's do it. Let's see how big this spreader is that we have here. See how much this field boss can carry. I don't think we have the yeah, I didn't buy didn't lease the one with the weight on the front. It might be might be popping a wheelie here in a second. 
All right, we just missed that all together, didn't we? I'll come back here and pretend like we're doing it for real. You can tell I'm doing it for real because I bumped into it. Did you notice that? Yeah. That's how you know it's official. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're we're do this with ease, aren't we? Ooh, maybe not with ease. We just passed the halfway mark. We're still on the top pallet. I thought that top pallet was gone. All right. Well, it's not a bad thing. We'll just leave it here. We have a stockpile of seeds tucked away in the corner over here. Nobody has found or uh, at least nobody's called us out on them yet. So we'll just leave them over there. Yeah, we're not going to make it, are we? Well, that's just terrible. All right. Well, back off and running. Back to field 24, was it? 24. I don't think... Very much time has passed on this, has it? Uh, eight percent, yeah. Well, pretty excited about that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Little, just pile it up, wrap it up, right? We don't need anything fancy. I like it. Very cool. Uh, let's see. While we're over here, let's go check on the uh, chickens too. Got to make sure we're getting some eggs. Then we have one rooster, so we're not getting all eggs, but we have more than 15 chickens, so, yeah, and we got some in each box, I guess it just fills up a little bit at a time, all right, well, we'll fill those two things up, we'll sell some eggs, eventually, at some point, maybe, you know, you know how it goes, stupid chickens, all right, I'll be right back, well, that might be the longest time in between clips that we've done in a long time. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't even know where we're at. Cause, uh, let me tell you a secret. I was doing this field last night. And just after I had stopped that last clip. And I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. We didn't make it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I went back and listened to that last clip there, and yeah, you could tell we were we were on our way out there. We weren't going to last long, so um, we did do this field. I just finished this field. This is a thirty-four thousand dollar field, which I will take right now. And field twelve is twenty-eight thousand. So let's head to field number twelve next. We are up to sixty-two thousand dollars. We're looking for one forty. Uh, 138 to be precise, but 140 will be just fine. So, uh, about $78,000. That's not bad. Uh, we're going to knock, what, 28 out here? Yeah, so we're looking at $50,000 is what we're going to need after we get done with this contract. That is just plain exciting, I tell ya. Um, haven't been this way on the map, so... I think we're going the right way. I think I'm trying to get on the other side of that green elevator on that hill over there. I think that's where I'm going. We'll go out for a nice little drive, though. Take a little cruise. Not too bad. So, yeah, uh, $50,000 is what we're going to have left. If we get that, we will buy some pigs. Um, until we have a tractor and, you know, real farm equipment and stuff, I'm not going to buy a bunch of pigs. But I figured I'd get two or three. I think maybe that little trailer that we own will hold three. Uh, so if that's the case, we might as well just start out with three pigs. We'll get three. We have a little bit of pig food, maybe. Uh, with the potatoes that we have washed or sorted. If not, then we do have two, potato, uh, two pallets of potatoes we can take and get washed. Which will probably uh, be enough. Uh, let's see, straw we don't have. We don't have straw, so that would be bad. But other than that, I think we could do pigs. I think we could get them up and running. Uh, like I say, just a two or three. It's not like they're going to eat much of anything. So, it won't take much. That's the point. Uh, might as well get pigs up and running the first year here. Uh, and we're not going to be here too long. 
we have staked out our cattle farm. So we are moving on to the dairy uh, enterprise next. That will be chapter two of the Empire Building. I don't think that field right there is big enough to be 12. I think it's this one. We can tell real quick though, can't we? We turn this on and it says go away. Yeah. Not that one. I think it's this one. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. All right. So, yeah, like I say, found our cattle enterprise. It looks like that's where we have been messing around on there for a couple of days, too. So we haven't got a lot done on here recently uh, between our narcolepsy and our uh, exploring other places. Yeah, we got to get back to work here. We got to get these pigs up and running. We got this bacon. I need bacon. We need bacon. Who doesn't need bacon, right? Everybody does. So... Year one, we're, uh, we're going to own the pig farm by the end of year one. It is only spring now, so uh, to be this close already, yeah, we will own it by the end of year one. I don't think it will be doing much of anything to speak of. <laughs> I mean, with pigs, it really is just make more pigs, you know. So I don't think we'll be doing a whole lot of that, but you never know. I mean, honestly, we haven't spent enough time doing pigs so uh yeah i can't say what it's gonna do honestly we'll figure it out shortly but we're gonna have to do a whole lot more fertilizing fertilizer spreading before that there's a dixie crystal sugar place uh, our other map has a dixie crystals on it that's pretty cool no the other one has american crystal oh yeah this is dixie crystal yeah i forgot we're down south here the other map is uh, a little further up north. Hmm. That's where we started, down there on that field. We did that one with the uh, Kubota. Field number 14 down there. That was the field that funded the rest of this. I kind of like this white, too. We might just go ahead and buy this thing. Uh, see if Mr. Chris will make us a deal on it. I believe he would. Uh, he was all too happy to lease it to us. I don't think there was a lot of interest in it, so... Uh, these yuppies around here, they got all those big, fancy, heavy-duty, expensive tractors, so... Yeah, I think we might be able to get a pretty good deal on this one. And it seems to, I mean... Granted, we've only spread fertilizer with it, but... Uh, seems like a very capable unit. I like it. Pretty good little ride. Let's see, we get pig farm, cheap tractor, we have a little cattle trailer. Uh, I'm sure we can get some water plumbed in so we don't need a water trailer. We're going to need a baler uh, so that we can do straw bales out of our oats. So we'll have to invest in a little cheap baler. I'm not going to do too much because I don't plan on doing any kind of silage or hay or grass bales so uh, strictly would be for straw so we don't need a whole lot of uh, bells and whistles you know won't take a whole lot so we got to do that uh, let's see what else we got oh we also have to do some firewood pallets uh, our good friend deer run farms is uh, asked for some firewood while he is out driving his truck and we are all too happy to oblige that, right? We got firewood. We can sell some. So we got to do some of that, too. Got to do a little wood chopping. We'll just cut another tree or two off of the row there at the end of the field. So, yeah, there you go. A lot going on. A lot to do. It's only spring, so a lot of time to do it. And um, yeah, for once, we're not we're not in a race against time. So kind of nice this time. And uh do it at our pace. I like it. So, I'm going to go finish this thing. Probably will not take, but another lap or two. We're throwing it down here now. So, let me go do that, and then we will, uh, yeah, we'll come back and figure out which one's next and how long we have to go. Uh, I may even just go ahead and knock a couple out if I can find something close to this field. I'll just go ahead and do those real quick. Um, you get the idea. <laughs> We're spreading fertilizer. That's it. I'll be back. All right. We did it. 
We did it. We are big farmers. We have bacon. All oh, the emperors. We're not striking out anymore. Here we come. Uh, yeah, we bought big farm. We also uh, bought two. I'm sorry, I was trying to figure out where I left my pallet fork. But we also bought two straw bales. We're gonna take those up with us. And there they are. That doesn't look very good, does it? Let's see if we can, yeah. Flip those down there. Ooh, that's, I bet that's a full bag. Yep, look at us just wasting that. That's not good. Not good. No room. Oh. Well, went right in there, didn't it? All right, we need to take those up. We need to get those sorted pronto. But first, we are going to get the pallet forts. We'll go grab those straw bales and head across the road. See Mr. Gordon over there. Make sure we got the bucket selected. Uh, we will pick us up a few pigs. I think we can. I think we can take three. We're gonna we're gonna take as many as we can, and that will be our starting uh, herd, as it were. So awesome! I, it's a little sooner than I thought, but man, I didn't. Uh, also, there's no way we could just. Turn down that list of fertilizing contracts right there. We rolled through those things and, uh, well, <laughs> rolled through them. It's, it's taken a couple of days, isn't it? <laughs> it's not exactly, exactly a lightning pace there. Uh, but we did get through them and we made $150,000. Oh, yeah, we had so much money because we made $150,000. Uh, the price of the field was $114,000. So, yeah. Wasn't as much as we thought by a long shot. So, um, I guess I should say after we were done buying the field, we had forty-nine thousand dollars, something like that. Anyways, we got forty-seven thousand, almost forty-eight thousand. Uh, we got two straw bales. We have to go get the pigs. That's what we have to do. Let's go get pigs. Let's go. This way, there. No, we snuck in the back way last time. Is there a? Yeah, right there. Okay, hiding behind the tree. Ooh, where are we going? Right there. Yeah. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh man. Let's see. The mother breed. Fast growing requires. Oh, there you go. That's what we want. Oh, goodness. They are expensive, aren't they? <laughs> nah, I think we're going with the uh, Yorkshire. That's what we always do. Yes, trailer is full with $32,842. Three little piggies. All right, now let's see if we go out that dirt road right there. I think that'll take us where we need to go, but how do we get to the dirt road? We sneak, yeah, I was gonna say, we snuck in a corner of this fence somewhere last time. Just right there it is. Perfect little hidey hole. Excellent, all right. So I think if we take, yeah, we take a left here and boom, we pretty much got to go the length of the map. We're going one side to the other. So up in the top corner is our new pig farm. The good news is there are sheds up there. Uh, we can store all of our farm equipment up there and then some. And oh, happy wife, happy life, right? So, yeah, we're going to... Man, we're struggling up this hill. Um, we're, man, I'm, I'm super excited about this. We're off and running with some bacon. And it is, what, yeah, last day of spring. So three pigs is what this empire is starting with. Let's see what we can turn it into. I think we can do pretty good. That looks like a farm. Is that my farm? Like a farm with a shed, doesn't it? Hmm. 
I really feel like ours is up that way, though. So, let's see. Compost factory is here. There's a big farm down there, too. Wow. Where are we? Oh, no. I just ran the Kubota out of gas. <laughs> I wonder why it got quiet. Oh, no. That's a long walk. <laughs> Alright, guys. Hang on. Maybe I can ride a pig. Maybe we can ride one of those over there. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Oh, got a little pig dust in my throat there. Uh, let's see. Go. Gotta be up here somewhere. My goodness, this is a big map. Oh, we're going the wrong way too. That would certainly help. Uh, yeah, like I say, all the way up here. We'll go look at our new place anyways. I gotta go back to the house. I gotta get a gas can. Go fill it up. Oh, man. I don't even think... I had a uh, I had a winch. We could just pull it up on the trailer and bring it up here and drop it off. But like, like I say, look, we got plenty of storage. <laughs> That's what I was saying right as we ran out of fuel. Uh, we could store everything there and here. And this is our new, brand new pig facility. Oh yeah, we can set the water up, so that's perfect. All right. Um. Wow, there we go. All right, well, that's enough. We're done here. We don't need to see me fumble with getting this tractor restarted. But uh, I do need to go do that. We have some pigs that need rescuing, so <laughs> we got to go save the bacon. Yeah, that's how it's going to end, right? Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I'm Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.